Hi, this is Veronica with The Crafty Ladder. We are continuing our sessions for the home set of the Apothecary Cabinet. And we have all of these completed. So we have the individual letters, the We Are Family sign, the tags, the home sweet home sign, the doormats, the keychains, the keys. I'm going to go ahead and turn this sideways, the candles and the banners. So the last piece that we have for this collection is the mailbox and I'm super excited about the mailbox and it's going to be a quick one so let's go ahead and begin with it. I'm thinking of doing brown for of course the post and then silver for the mailbox. So let's go ahead and start with the brown. We are using brown oxide from Apple Barrel and just got, this is a little piece of wax paper that I have. I get my wax paper from Sam's Club. Um, I just find that the value for the, um, the quantity, I think the box is like 500 sheets. and regular price is around seven dollars and Sam's has a few times a year I don't think that their sales run month to month but they do run um, sales on a regular basis and I know that I've picked up wax paper on sale before so you save maybe and the savings isn't great but hey it's about a buck or so and I'm telling you this because if you try and get wax paper from Amazon, the value is just not there. Uh, not the same kind of value. Excellent. And you can see that there's some natural, natural shading on around the edges that occurred. So all I did was scrape off some of the, the paint to get that done. But I'm going to go ahead and come in with the wipe and get a little bit more shading done. It helps if you have a fingernail that kind of helps guide you. There we go. Hopefully that's coming through for you. And the mailbox, we're going to go ahead and go with silver. And for that, I've been using the Folk Art Metallic. And this is see, I'm silver. I can't see it. It's anniversary, silver anniversary. And this gives you a metallic finish but it's really, it's, it's metallic, so it's got a little sheen to it, but in my opinion, it's still flat, so we will be adding some extra fine glitter to the paint, but I'll go ahead and base coat this first with the silver metallic, or metallic silver. Most of this part is going to be covered with the overlays. This part here, the opening of the mailbox. And I don't know about you, but when it comes to mailboxes, again, this uh, whole collection is inspired by the home, precious things, everyday things that you might fill your apothecary cabinet with. And of course, you wouldn't put a mailbox in an apothecary cabinet. But the idea was to have remembrances and definitely a, a mailbox is something that a home will have. And it used to be, I don't know about you, but it used to be I enjoyed getting the mail. Now you just get a bunch of junk mail. I do like to still receive catalogs and a couple of magazines in the mail, so that's happy mail. And then of course when you order something special, and you're waiting for the packages to arrive that arrive in your traditional mail. That's always nice. So I am going to get a little bit more paint. 
but nowadays, I don't know about you, but I get a lot of junk mail. And then forget it during um, election time, you get a lot of flyers from candidates, and that's no fun. So we try and recycle what we can, but sometimes it's just easier. Oh, and what I'm using is extra fine um, glitter. It's like a powder. Mixing that in and it's getting that little bit of sheen. We use the same technique for the keys, as you can see a little bit of sparkle and the reason I wanted to use this well the whole inspiration for the keys was because of cars brand new cars that have the beautiful paint jobs that have that little sparkle in the paint especially when they catch the sunlight so it gives just a little bit of interest to an otherwise flat gray or even the sheen in the silver. And just like glitter that gets everywhere, this extra fine glitter kind of manages to do the same thing. I hope you can see the sparkle there. I think it's picking up picking it up a little bit all right and I guess the we'll do the same kind of treatment for the pool these pieces are really small so I'm just going to use my block of wood it's got double stick tape on there, so it's going to stick on there nicely. Put this one over here. Here's the little flag to let the mailman know we've got mail going out. And here's the little screw. And it's just easier with the, the pieces on the block to get in there and paint these up rather quickly. So anyways, I don't really have any magazine subscriptions right now, but I think a family circle, good housekeeping, things like that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and paint the um, bottom portion of the flag um, white and the flag red and I don't know I haven't decided about I guess I should probably keep it neutral maybe go with white and we'll do the frame white as well we can always change it if we want if we're not thrilled with it I want it to kind of pop off of the mailbox. I don't want it to blend in. This is Folk Art Titanium White. I was talking about those specials from Sam's Club and they do send out a, a little flyer in the mail a little mini catalog when they're having their promotion so that's always nice to get that I don't know, it's still something about getting a flyer or a little catalog in the mail 
Maybe it's just a, a good memory from back when we used to get a lot of that kind of stuff in the mail. Joanne sends out also traditional mail. That's always nice. And usually include include coupons. So that's always good. I don't know if you're a coupon person, but I definitely am. And I'm going to come in very lightly. I want the scored letters to um, to still show up. So I really don't want to go in there really hard. I'm just lightly pouncing on that. And I'm going to try and dab off as much of the paint as I can. So, yeah. I don't know if you remember back in the day when Michaels used to have coupons, especially during like the holidays. They would have a big sale. I guess it was kind of like a Black Friday sale. I am looking for red. This is flag red from Apple Barrel, and I want to use that for the flag. muscle on that one. But I was a total fanatic when it came to those coupons. You'd have like a whole page in the newspaper and so you'd uh, Clip all of the little coupons from the paper and then go into the store and of course it was a madhouse in there please let me know if you know exactly what I'm talking about it was always a madhouse when you went in and then you'd be at the register using a million coupons <laughs> those were the good old days so now I'm going to go ahead and grab the glue, tight bond, quick and thick. By the way, I always have this um, upside down because I want the glue waiting for me. The flow is consistently there at waiting at the nozzle. you store it upright then you've got to wait for the glue to flow down so all right we are going to add the little flag and just using my finger to get a little bit of glue on the back there and we're going to place it so that looks like we've got some mail waiting for us This is really going to pop because in the collection we really don't have any red going on except for the little flames on the candle. And I'm going to place a little screw on there. So I've got I have to get that uh, screw on there so that the little flag stays where it needs to stay. Anyway, that was a total blast from the past. Michael's coupons. You get like floral picks, five for a dollar, six for a dollar, stuff like that. Some coupons uh, get 
small items for 10 cents. Like embellishments and stuff like that. You know what? I didn't plan it, but the white really works nicely against the white from the flag. I love it when and no plan comes together. <laughs> I'm going to add the little mail sign first. Gosh, I'm falling in love with it, with it, with it. is the handle. Oh, looks so good. And so you have mail. Isn't that adorable? And this is the final piece to our home collection. And I want to see what you do with your collection. I am going to style this up, get it added to uh, the, I'm thinking the brown apothecary cabinet. Um, but if I decide to go a different way, or maybe I'll try it with a few different, maybe the black one, see what how the contrast looks with that. Um, I do have a dusty uh, blue apothecary cabinet. Maybe I'll try it in there and see what it looks like. And I think that's going to wrap it up for us. So if you um, have any questions, please reach out to me. I am Veronica at The Crafty Ladder. And you can find me through email, g uh, thecraftyladder at gmail.com. I'm going to go ahead and place this right here. And I wanted to try and get everything in one shot there. So uh, the crafty ladder at gmail.com or of course reach out to me um, uh, through Facebook and share um, your collection with me. I'd love to see. And I mentioned I want to do a black and white set. I want to do a yellow set, um, but we'll see. You know, got other th projects also. Be on the lookout for the other apothecary cabinet collections. We've got a bee collection, a summer collection, and a few other surprises there in the mix. So thank you so much, and um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.